This is what he said. Black Rob on Woe. Let me go back to like one minute and 15 seconds. Now we're going to start off at, basically it's after the lyrics that it say, he even talked about cocaine. He said, ease pain with cocaine like whoa. I never heard that lyric back in the day. I'm just not getting that. So he talked about cocaine and whoa. And he talked about getting brain from a chick. That's the part. Plus, I'm getting brain from this chick like whoa. Finger near a nigga asshole like whoa. Never heard that to yesterday. Not knocking it, not tripping. I don't give a fuck about none of that. But I never heard Black Rob say, getting brain from this. Plus, I'm getting brain from this chick like, whoa. Finger near, finger near a nigga asshole like, whoa. Maybe we always heard the radio version and they had it, you know. Hmm. I know I've heard the, what you call the dirty version before. How the fuck did I miss that? That ain't something you would miss. But it just, P. Diddy and uh, Tupac put everybody up on these guys, like, in the 90s. A lot of y'all wasn't born in the 90s, I know. But here's how he said it. I'm just trying to figure out why would he use the lyric why would he just put the finger in the ass like I don't understand that meaning are you telling the kids and the adults who listen to the shit that that's how you get brain or that's something to explore because I never heard that lyric until yesterday off of Sirius XM I had to stop and, I had, and then with Sirius you can replay the shit at least you can rewind satellite radio I had to go back but I didn't go back and get sidetracked that's why I'm just not finishing it up now. I confirm that he did say that. And it's like... And look at his history to his present. All them times P. Diddy didn't help him when he went to prison. He went to prison on his own free will, his own choices and mistakes. He talks about cocaine. He does cocaine. He does heroin and every other drug you can possibly name. Probably for pain. He's saying it's for pain. That's opioids could be cocaine, all this shit. Whatever can numb you up, butter you up. But this shit, I don't know if it's just me. Ain't y'all noticing some new shit? Like, this shit is not coincidental that y'all are learning and living now and realizing, like, wait a minute, this ain't what I want to do. Or wait a minute, who the fuck are you? And wait a minute, you ain't respecting me. Wait a minute, self-love. That's all it's about. You have self-love. You have everything. I told you about the uh, the middle finger. Self-love is like putting up the huge middle finger to the world and like, fuck all of y'all. I love me even if you don't love me. That's basically what it's like. I'm going to give y'all blasphemy. I call it blast for me. I'm going to read y'all an excerpt in this book. So I'm opposing. Last part, he said, by accepting Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. A lot of y'all already did. As a young kid, through the churches y'all was raised up in, 
If y'all scratch y'all throat, we all the same. If you ever had to do this with your ear and scratch your throat, because there's something in it, like you feel like it, and you can't do it like this, we the same person. Believe that. We twins, motherfucker. If you go, yep, you just like me. Direct my steps by your word and let no iniquity have dominion over me. Psalm 119, 133. Just popped up, notified me to say that to y'all. And it got another one on there. It says, yeah, it comes back twice because I got two different Twitters. But the song with Tupac on Blasphemy is deep. And really, it's kind of good. I don't know if y'all ever heard the lyrics to Blasphemy with Tupac. A lot of people just listen to the beat and just want to dance and celebrate. It's Psychology 101. Uh, they say when you're sad, you hear the lyrics or you listen to the lyrics. And when you're happy... It's all about the beat. <laughs> you don't hear no lyrics. So let's go with Tupac Blasphemy. So it's no such thing as time. And it's no if it's no such thing as time, it's no such thing as wasting time or downtime and all that shit. Just do what makes you happy. In this moment, God has a plan, and in the Bible unfolds that wonderful plan through the message of prophecy. God sent Jesus into this world to be our Savior, and that Christ is returning someday soon to unfold the wonderful plan of eternity for my life and your life, as long as we're cooperating with God. By accepting Jesus Christ as our personal Lord and Savior, and as the Lord does return in the coming, I'm going to say seven days. We'll see you next time here. That was Tupac and them on Blasphemy. And they called it Tupac. And I said, we'll see you next time here on This Week in Bible Prophecy. Tupac, don't start that blasphemy in here. Machiavelli, the new breed. And I remember what my pops told me. The new word. Follow me. Etc. Cetera, Etc. Cetera. My family tree. And that Christ is returning. Of eternity. As long as we cooperate with God. As your Lord and Savior. In the coming seven days, see you next time.
Blasphemy, memories of a past time, giving up cash to the leaders, knowing damn well you ain't gonna feed us. In my brain, how can I explain that time in DC, Capitol Hill? Hey, Dave Chappelle was right. <laughs> damn, 96? Shit. He talking about Washington. It's heaven just to let go. I leave this here. I leave this and hope God see my heart is pure. It's heaven just to let go. And my people say, None for them are still in the name of the Lord. Them are still not flying on the road. Them are still in the name of the Lord. Them are still in the name of the Lord. Them are still in the name of the Lord. Them are still in the name of the Lord. Them are still in the name of the Lord. Them are still in the name of the Lord. Them are still in the name of the Lord. Them are still in the name of the Lord. Them are still in the name of the Lord. Them are still in the name of the Lord. Them are still in the name of the Lord. Them are still in the name of the Lord. Them are still in the name of the Lord. Forever eternity.